Hello, Barn Finders. I have a special guest with me today. It's me, Luke's best friend, Sarah. <laughs> it's Sarah and Luke here doing a collectible video for Barn Finders Evil Swamp. My dream. Ah, here we are in the Evil Swamp. Did you ever see any evil swamps when you went to Louisiana? You know, I think all the swamps are evil. All so, evil swamps? Yeah, it's all just an evil swamp down there, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, with uh, evil swamp, you have to, uh, of course, bid your way into the swamp. Miko. And uh, we're going to need a, a nice lockpick for this video, too. So make sure you got at least a leveled up lockpick for one of these locks coming here. Dear customer. But once you come in, you got to bid on your evil swamp house. And of course, first thing you're going to pick up in here is the, the Hellstorm tank. You to make a fire oh uh, flamethrower in this game, yep. That's great. <laughs> we get a quick one in the house here. And then further on in the house, you're gonna come into this uh, little kitchen area here, a little spooky kitchen. Dude, this is so Halloween. Oh yeah. It's like a haunted like murder house, I think. But uh, right on the counter here is another collectible. I didn't realize Barn Finder was so, I don't know, had murder and dead chickens. <laughs> Intrigue. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's also got these uh, these various frog statues you can pick up. That's really yep. Random. There's a very exquisite frog statue you assemble later. Do you have a favorite frog statue? <laughs> <laughs> Just the one. Okay. <laughs> but they have some great names too. Like this one's called the the Morgue Racket, and this one's called Blues Crow. That is great. Yep. Get a few items along the way. Some of them are like right in the open that you go and pick up other ones you got to walk around and kind of uh you know maybe destroy something to find maybe open a drawer occasionally we'll do a little bit of work here guys yep do a little bit to get a lot of course recycling along the way do your job as a recycler you know you just see that can you pick it up yeah you know you can't you can also pick up trash in in the digital world you know, it doesn't only have to be in the real world. That's right. Every world can be a cleaner place. <laughs> you just want the barn finder's world to be gross? Is that what you want? That's right. Much like this weird bathroom, which has like a cage in it for some reason. Oh my god, this is really dramatic. Yeah, but once you get through with that house, uh, we're going to jump over to the second house. It's like a, it's like another boat house area behind the one we were just in. But uh, there's going to be some more collectibles in here, not to mention a little spooky moment. Yep. Spooky See those ghosts over there? Oh my god. Oh, and they dropped those boxes on us. What bullies. <laughs> Don't you dare. But, of course, they've got some collectibles in here for us. Some of it's just, you know, recyclable stuff, too. But uh, right on top here is a, is a Cosmo helmet. You get to make a spaceman as one of your oh items. Do you, have a, do you have a favorite uh, barn finder level that you've played sarah oh yeah every level is my favorite okay uh <laughs> full disclosure n don't play many video games i'm i'm here just to you know keep things moving a fresh perspective on barn finder you know that's right add some uh some new blood yeah yeah keeping it spicy here on right bumper well speaking of spicy we're in another area here too this is after you traverse the uh last house we were in and you kind of jump across some uh, croc taxis. What the hell yeah, is a croc there's crocs taxi? that taxi you around here. And uh, there's gonna be this island back here that you climb up into and okay. a lot of items right on that table. Okay, what, I, what I'm understanding from a croc taxi, is it a crocodile that you ride? Yes, <laughs> and we, we will be riding more crocs in this oh level too. Oh my goodness, here. that yeah. is amazing. We, we need a few of them to get around in this area. This uh, one even is gonna take us to the secret legendary golden toilet paper. Everything you just said made no sense to me, but that is wonderful. I can't wait. And that's why we're playing Barn Finders. <laughs> they were pretty genius with this. They were having a good time. They were they ahead of their time. Yeah. They, they even gave you an axe. You can chop some stuff down. So, you know, like, say you see some vines out in the evil swamp, you just take yeah. your axe to it and pick up that coin, which is worth a lot for some reason, too. How much is it worth? It's like five, six hundred bucks. Oh. Mm -hmm. But uh, back up in that uh, same house we were just into, there's also a lock you gotta pick to get through. And we're gonna need a key out of here in order to get into the the next kind of bunkhouse area too. Okay. And we're gonna find the key. Is oh yeah, this, this key is hidden in plain sight, wow. right there. We didn't even try. <laughs> yep. 
And you might notice too, I'm like destroying a lot of objects in the course of these videos too. You need a lot of these little items for like crafting in the game too, so. What do you craft? Uh, you have to like take other items you find and like repair them, okay. so to speak. So like a lot of items will show up as like damaged. Okay. And there is an achievement connected to repairing all the damaged items. Well, you know, that's why we're here. We're yep. all about those chivos. Those chivos. And every item you pick up here too is gonna get you closer. Including this table, which has a very sneaky cup on it. Uh, don't miss that cup that I forgot to pick up that first time around. Okay. What makes it sneak? Uh, it's just on there and I completely forgot to. I oh. thought it was just like a regular <laughs> It one. evaded your attention, yeah. <laughs> so it was yeah. sneaky. I thought it was sneaky. <laughs> uh, but here's our uh, croc tax, by the way. Oh my god, that is so silly. Yep, you can see there's like a, like a little rooster kind of piloting it for us. What if we did this in real life? Oh man, croc taxis? Yeah beautiful you we could just... name them <laughs> what would you what would you name your croc oh, taxi maybe like uh, roger <sighs> something basic there's something about naming a crocodile a very basic name yeah just like a, like a john like a john like a tom what well, about you my my croc taxi uh i think he would be uh albert albert yeah i, I imagine my croc taxi like a butler yeah that's a good way that's a good way to think mm -hmm. of your croc taxi. But as you're riding these croc taxis, it's also gonna take you back to this uh, big old boat, which make sure you pick that up, worth a lot of money. And then right across from that boat too is gonna be uh, a collectible we're gonna grab real quick before we go back called the the ducky spin, which I definitely spelled right. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, after you grab that, you kind of just have to wait over by that boat for the croc taxi to come back. Um, it takes a long time to come through this area. But uh, Yeah, those croc taxis are slow, you know? They run on their own clocks. Yep. As soon as you do see it, though, oh. you hop on it here. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to gently carry us over to maybe the longest uh, path to get a golden toilet paper we've ever had. Wow. Can we do it, folks? What do you imagine a golden toilet paper being like? Do you think it would be like a comfortable one or golden is it like a, like, paper. does it still retain its softness? Oh, it could be like gold leaf, gold. but then it would just stick to your bed. <laughs> <laughs> like it wouldn't, you couldn't wipe it. It would be too delicate. No golden what toilet paper What do you think it here. is? Well, I guess you know. I imagine it's like a, it's like a Midas touch situation where like mm -hmm. someone, you know, turned toilet paper into gold, but it's still like... Yeah, it still has just like uh, maybe some some paper aspects to it. Okay, that's good. That's you're thinking positively because I was thinking maybe it was just fused just, together. Just a solid golden. But I guess you could rub something. You could try to clean yourself with something solid. It's just not like a great idea. Right. Yeah. But after you get that golden toilet paper, you're gonna get out of this level. You're gonna make your uh, uncle grab your uh, boat out of the, the lake there, and boom, there's all the collectibles. Wow. I'm so glad I was here to see that. And you know what? Every viewer feels that way too, Luke. Thanks for taking us on this, this crocodile taxi. Paul, you're welcome. Thank you for, for joining, Sarah. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye.